Hello YouTube and welcome to another general vlog video. So let's go do some shopping. Um, we're going to go to a place that's like a Habitat for Humanity or a Restore store. I don't think that's what this one's called, either one of those, but it's something very similar to it. And basically what we're looking for today is I have a window that is in my bedroom that now looks out into my new workshop. Uh, when I first built the bedroom, I had a great view of the lake, and but I needed a workshop even worse. So I built that. So now my window looks into my workshop and we don't need that. I was just gonna do away with it. But I'm thinking about running down here and see what my options are and see about buying a door that would be able to fit in there with, with a lot of modifications, of course, but something that I could uh, be able to access my workshop from inside the house. It's not that big of a deal for me, but for my boys, like when they're there, like last night, Colton, uh, you know, he got up and was kind of sick. Felt like he was gonna get sick. I think we just ate too much for Thanksgiving. But, you know, had have I been out in the shop, out in the workshop, he would have had to have come out in the cold and the rain to come out there and get me to tell me that he was sick. This way, he would be able to go, you know, just down, down the steps into my bedroom and go through the door and not have to get cold or wet or snowy. And, you know, uh, but I, I would kind of like to have an exterior door, but it's an interior, you know, both, it's going to be inside, no, no weather going to get to it. I was thinking exterior just, just for the simple fact of like, uh, you know, heat loss and stuff. But I can do with an interior door, especially like if I could get a six panel door, because those are, are constructed a little bit better on the inside. So, anyways, we're going to run in here and see what we can find, and we'll kind of go from there. I'm going to turn you off. I'll bring you back on when we're in there. And as you can see, they got all kinds of furniture and stuff, and that's a three-piece set. I really like it, but don't have room for it. Got some lamps. Kind of high-priced on those. So let's go see what we can find. See something about like that. Or I bet that's solid. Oh, no, that's not solid. I thought that was a solid door. So let's go on down. Those are all hollow core. Those are all hollow core. Oh, those are <laughs> those are also a hundred dollars a piece. I yo no, not be buying those. So let's go in the back and see what they got. A lot of times they have their exterior doors in the back. Carpet remnants, fifty percent off. These are all closet doors here. So let's go in the back. I'll bring you back in just a second. Got little sheets of quarters sheets. Got some cabinets. Hmm, not sure what that is. Some roof vent, ridge vents, maybe. Nice looking bathroom window. Hmm, looks new. Hmm, I don't see a price. Dowel rods. All right, so let's look at some exterior doors. Well, those are all interior right there. That's a, just a screen door. Right. 
Okay, well the first thing that I see on their exterior doors is most of them are, boy look, look at how beautiful that door was at one time. Look at that, and it even had like a stained glass style in the middle of it for 50 bucks, $55. But anyways, the only one that I found that was even anywhere close was this one. And it's 50 bucks, so I don't know. We'll go back in here and look at the others. Yeah. I always like to look around and get kind of a general idea of what I need. Maybe not today, but in the future. So, I'm not really finding exactly what I want. There's that one, which I'd have to cut it down both ways. And then there's this one. It looks kind of dirty, but it looks in good shape. Just needs to be painted. Of course, it'll be painted anyways. I have to fill in one little hole right here. It's never been drilled for a door knob. Take these off. So that's my choices. So, uh, stick around. Let's see what I pick out. Well, let's go look at all the furniture. Oh, that's thick. piece cabinet set more cabinets pretty china cabinet a little dresser all right well Stick around, let's see which one I pick out. So, we're all loaded up. Which one do you think I picked? I know, the pretty white clean one, right? Eh, I got the old nasty dirty one. Uh, it's, either one's gonna be painted anyway, so it doesn't matter. This one had never been drilled for a doorknob. Neither had the others. 
This one also has a self-closure spring hinge on it, which is pretty nice. I don't think I need it for that, but I might need that for another project. It's already been cut down on the sides. They did a good job. It's nice and square. It's not bowed. I know it's not a solid core door, but you can insulate these doors. And if I decide to do that, we'll get into how I'm going to do that. And I just think all in all, this is the better pick and it matches all my other interior doors. So that being said, let me get back in the truck here. Oh. So anyways, that being said, um, it is going to be an interior door, but there's no permanent heat fixture in my workshop. But I think I'm going to put something in there like a, because workshop's not really that big. But I'm thinking about putting something in there like, um, oh goodness. I'm sitting here trying to think, do I want to go, since I'm already this far, do I want to go on out to Stites? And I think the answer is yes. Um, I'll explain what Stites is here in just a minute. Let me finish my thought. Uh, I lost my thought. <clears throat> Anyways. I'm thinking about putting something like an uh, Eden Pure heater out there and keeping it like it at a constant 40, 50 degrees. That way my paints don't freeze and stuff. So therefore it won't be that cold. These doors do pretty good and it won't be out in the wind or anything. So anyways, I picked the door that I thought would be fine for what I needed to do. Now we're going to run to Stites. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Once again, this is a general vlog video. Please like, subscribe, and once you've subscribed, smash that bell icon so you're notified the next time that we post a video. And the next time we post a video, it'll tell you. And please share us on your social media. Your, uh, let's see, what, what would you guys use? Your Facebook, your Instagram, your, well, probably not Pinterest. Anyways, I'm kind of trying to drive and, and talk at the same time. And as we can see, it doesn't work that well for me. And don't worry, both hands are on the wheel. I have my seatbelt on. I am completely safe. And I would love to have that farmhouse right there. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And stay tuned because upcoming videos will be of taking out a window, cutting out the wall, replacing this, putting this door in, and getting heat out in the workshop, and we've got a lot of good videos coming up. We'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.